All right, so let's get into the making of. First up, uh, we started with recording several shots. The idea was to um, take shots uh, in a way that a random person that just happened to run into an animal might film. So it's vertical video, it's shaky, it's walking around a bit, like looking, randomly filming the place where the animals would appear. Also with several shots, uh, quickly panning around, looking at more of them appearing in different places. Um, in the end, we were only able to render a single one. So that's why it's only a single clip. In addition, we uh, filmed some shots where the intention was for uh, the person behind the camera to interact with the animals, which is also what you can see here, where I'm trying to pet the animal that would be appearing over there. Now, one issue with the way we filmed was that the shakiness of the camera using just the random phone camera introduced a lot of motion blur, which ended up making the tracking comparatively difficult. There were a lot of uh, frames which were just so motion blurred that they threw the whole motion tracking off the rails. But yeah, we, in the end, we uh, worked uh, with these clips in Blender to add the animations of the dragon. This was all done using the Blender software and freely available Dragon models. And there were several intermediate, uh, intermediate versions of what we were trying to render, uh, as you can see over here, but there was not enough time to like actually render all of these. Um, so that's why it's only a single looping clip right now. Uh, the intention was to start with single animal and work all the way up to eventually looking at a building with uh, dragons like flying uh, off and over the building. Um, but right now it's just the single animal dancing to the music of course. Um, with the idea being this is the kind of style of music video that could be, uh, you know, like posted on social media, TikTok, that kind of, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Now, it would have been nice to be able to have really achieved the kind of video that was the initial intention, uh, but I'm still pretty happy with the skills I've learned of being able to do this because the only limiting factor really was the amount of time to do the same thing over and over again and work over these small uh, tracking errors that kept messing everything up. 